granted the you said it's our leading candidate for quantum gravity and that might not be a good thing if you don't think the the playing field is particularly talented does that mean that you think it is our current best candidate for explaining the fine tuning problem well that's a different question um string theorists themselves have opposing views about this idea of the cosmological multiverse and the landscape, etc. Um, it is, by the way, it is an example historically of maybe the only time that an experimental result had a dramatic impact on the course of string theory. Uh, string theory has so far had no dramatic effects on uh, the experimental results, but it, well, at least one way it happened in 1998. Uh, in 1998 was when we discovered the acceleration of the universe, which is most easily attributable to vacuum energy, the cosmological constant. And a lot of string theorists before that happened, again, not all, there wasn't a consensus, but the, the majority view was you literally cannot have a positive vacuum energy in string theory. People wrote papers trying to argue for that. And then nature says, well, I have a positive vacuum energy. And string theorists were forced to confront that. And thinking about that problem is ultimately what led them to realize, you know, if you allow this and you allow that and you do this kind of construction, then you can get a solution with a positive vacuum energy. The problem is you get 10 to the 500 of them, and you don't know which one you're in. So maybe you're in all of them somewhere in the universe, and we just happen to find ourselves in one. Even that is not completely accepted within the string theory community. String theory is hard, and we have no experimental guidance. So uh, we just don't have very... 